everyone, welcome back to another Biomed Basics video. We're gonna talk about wire strippers. Now, as you can see, I have a huge selection of strippers here in front of me. They all have a special purpose and not a single one of them can do the job better than the others. So let's go over from the simplest to the most complex wire strippers. What features do they have and how can you adjust them and make them useful to you? So let's go to the simplest set of wire strippers. This set right here is probably the most Spartan of them all, but this is one of my favorites. The reason that this is one of my favorites is because it's very lightweight, it's very simple to use, and believe it or not, it's got multiple tools into this one tool. So one of the things I like the most about this guy is notice up here how it's got a cutting edge and then down below it, it's got your wire stripper notch and then below that is another cutting edge. So the tip cutting edge right here, I use this set for when I have a large gauge cable. You can snip the outer insulation around and then you can strip the individual conductors and that is absolutely phenomenal for being a versatile tool in the field. And the inner cutting edge right here used for shearing off some of those larger diameter, maybe even solid core conductors. Very cool. The one thing I recommend to you guys though is to set your minimum right here. And you can't see it, there's a little pinhole right there. I have mine set for about 24 gauge wire. And you slide this guy back and forth and that will set the minimum notch right here. This set is mainly used for people that are more experienced. And the reason being is because it's very easy to overdo your wire strip. And if you overdo the wire strip, now you're going to be removing conductors. So this set here is one of my most favorite, but again, it's going to be mainly for people that are more experienced. The next set is another Spartan set. Um, but this one here has a couple cool features. So up here, there is gripping fingers at the very tip. So they're not cutting fingers or, or cutting blades, they're gripping fingers. So you can use this also as kind of like a set of uh, needle nose pliers. But it also has a set of uh, notches, pre-cut, and those notches correspond to certain wire gauges. So I've got 20 gauge down to 10 gauge, and yep, 20 gauge to 10 gauge. So there you go. And that is pretty much it for this, other than the cutting notch right here. Notice that this cutting notch is a straight notch. So as you squeeze down, it wants to generally eject the wires. So you're gonna have to hold your wires into the notch when you're cutting them. Not my most favorite type of set. There is a lock right here, so you can swing it and lock it. So now it is actually very compact and it fits nicely in a tool bag. But there are probably better options out there. So this one here is not my tool bag, mainly because that is a straight notch and the straight notch wants to eject your wire. So let's go up to the Klein set. So this set of wire strippers right here made by Klein. And again, it's got the straight notch and this one goes from 22 gauge to 12 gauge. It has got the gripper at the end, but it's got another feature. It has crimp. So it's all automatically gonna be more versatile because it's got crimp along with the wire strip. Very cool. The uh, straight notch right here is slightly curved. Not really enough to matter. Um, again, it is a problem still, but it's a very lightweight, compact, and very durable set of wire strippers. Very cool. The next set. This one here is the one that is in my tool bag, and the set is made by GB or Gardner Bender. And the reason this is in my bag is because this one combines many of the features above. It goes from 22 gauge down to 10 or eight gauge. It says eight gauge on this side. So it does uh, strip a wide variety. But one of the things I like the most, take a notice of the cutting notch. See how it's curved? So it tends to keep your wire in the cutting notch. And one of the cool things about this being a curved cutting notch, is if I had a standard size medical grade power cord, 
I will put the power cord in this notch and I just rotate this. I don't, I don't squeeze down at all. I just shove the power cord in there and rotate it around and it cuts my outer sheathing and then you can strip the outer sheathing on a standard power cord. Very cool. This one has slightly more options for different types of crimps, which is very neat. I, I do love that. And then look at this right here. This right here is a set of screw cutoffs. So you can custom make the length of screws for things like wall plates, etc. Um, if you have a fastener that's too long, you stick it in here and you shear it off. See it? You screw it in, shears off, the piece drops off, and you have a custom length fastener. This is especially useful if you're doing uh, wall fixtures or ceiling fixtures. They come with extra long fasteners, which are unnecessary. Most people just screw those fasteners all the way in, you know, two, two and a half inch long fasteners, when actually you can just adjust them. If you only need three quarter of an inch, you can screw it in here to the length that you need, crimp it off, and then you're good to go. So my next set of wire strippers is a multi-use set. It was a cool concept, but in hindsight, for me personally, it's a little annoying. So this set here is actually a multi-use set. So see how it goes from flush cutter, which is very useful, to wire stripper and this goes from uh, it says 10 gauge to 20 which uh, I guess uh, it should be definitely durable enough to do that the grips are very comfortable on this one and it does have the uh, gripper at the end but uh, it doesn't have the large wire cut off in order to do that you have to flip it over and then rely on this side there is also right down here there is a crimp so I guess that is a little useful, but for me, this one here just wants to catch on things. It's a little heavier, I think, yeah, a little bit heavier. This one here is still my preferred one for my tool bag, but this one here I keep around because every once in a while you need a durable flush cutter, and that's why I keep this one in my tool kit. Not my tool bag, but in my tool kit that I roll around. Next is going to be probably the one that many people are familiar with this is an auto cutter and this one's made by vice grip there are many different versions of this out on the market many of them have subpar jaws they will chip off and i've had many problems with auto cutters in the past but this set here is made by vice grip and it has a lot of cool features one of the features is going to be this little uh depth guide right here so what you do is you put your wires through and it, this is a stopper, and when it hits that, that's when you grip it, you take your wire out, you put your next one in. So this set of wire strippers is especially useful if you're doing a lot of repeat cuts, and you can strip more than one wire at a time. So like phone cable, you can strip four or five conductors at the same time, which makes this a very cool cutter. Um, and that's exactly why I keep this in here, is because sometimes I'm doing a lot of repeat cuts, and it's very inefficient to use any of these others compared to this one. So this one is a very neat set. It does have the uh, depth adjustment. It's got a straight jaw cutter right here, and then it's got a high torque crimp, and then it's got a variety of other different crimps down here in the handle. So neat set, more complex than the others. Every once in a while, wires will get stuck up here in the jaws and it won't release, and you'll be stuck like this. And Kind of smack it and they come out but overall this one and this one are going to be two of my favorites this one's in my toolkit this one here is is one of those strippers that i could do the job of all these with just this one obviously i can't do the crimp but um this one here for being a very lightweight versatile set i love the the jaw nippers here because when i have a large conductor cable Let's say I'm doing a 220 cable and I'm re-terminating it. This is the set that I'm going to because I can strip a very large conductor with these. And not to mention the outer sheath on some of those larger cables is going to be very tough to cut through. So all I do is take this one, nip, 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 all the way around. And that's the set that I use for the especially large cables. 
But there you guys go. That is generally the, the swath of, of wire strippers that you're gonna encounter out in the field. And they all have a purpose. They all do some things rather well, but I do have my favorites. The bender is gonna be the one that's gonna be in my toolkit because I can do so much stuff with this one. But if it was up to me, between these two right here, I am good to go. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's just a quick video on wire strippers. They, they do have a function, every single one of them. Not everyone does the job perfectly, but that's why you have a variety. Thanks for watching guys.